into that grid. You can see 54, 68 doing so right there. And 36, 36 trying to do the same. They're going to be on the left side of your screen. The higher that these cones and cubes are placed, the more points that it's worth. However, it is important to know that if you get three in a row, a horizontal row, that's called a link. And those links are very helpful in getting ranking points for the playoffs. Just with any robotics competition, these robots are connected to the field, and sometimes there is a connection issue. As you can see, Team 3024 has not moved much this route, this, this match. They may have lost connection. They, they are live now. Thankfully, they are back in it. They have scored a cube for the Blue Alliance. 1359 Scalawags trying to get in on the scoring. And of course, 1540, that's the Flaming Chickens. They are carefully placing that cone right where it needs to go. Seems to be a bit of a standstill across the field right now. There we go, 1540, that's the Flaming Chickens. They're gonna go to their human player station, try and get another cube. Unfortunately, my favorite team, 3024, has stopped working. Hopefully they can get connected to the field and rejoin. In the last 30 seconds of our match, these teams are gonna try and do exactly what you can see Blue Alliance has done, which is get one to three robots on that charge station for some additional end game points. If the total amount of points from the charge station specifically exceeds 26, they will gain a ranking point. Two robots from both teams. Looks like both teams will gain the ranking point for that. I've got a feeling that Red Alliance might take the victory here. Final scores for that match. Our winner is going to be Red Alliance with a score of 128 and a maximum of four ranking points achieved by that Red Alliance.